What is good, Grey Gang? Today's video, it's gonna be a little bit different than, you know, outdoors related fish and trap and stuff like that. Today, I'm actually gonna show you around with my car tour. Now, I know that on YouTube, I've not really talked about it much, but a few of y'all do know about it and you wanna know more about it on YouTube. So I just figured, you know what? Let's show them around a little bit. Let's show the Grey Gang what I got. So right now, I got Adam out here with me. I'm, he's gonna hold the camera and I'm gonna go get the first car of the collection. <laughs> to the details on the Grand Am, let me tell you about this free-to-play app on the App Store. Now, the game is called Vikings War of Clans, and this game, it is a strategy game. It's a game that adapts to your play style. And what I mean by that is you can go all out, power or nothing, attacking bases and stuff, or you can farm, make resources, make a lot of money, and build your base up that way. The theme of the game is Vikings, so as you can imagine, they didn't necessarily, you know, drive around Grand Ams, but they did have big old boats, and they did march to where they were going. Now, currently in the game, it's a community of over 20 million players that you can play against so go ahead guys go down in the description use that link and it'll actually give you a free shield and 200 coins to start off it'll help you build your base up quicker than if you actually played the game without starting out with them but now back to the car collection so as you can see guys the first car in my collection this is a 2000 grand Am se stands for special edition i think it's either that or sports eco boost and i don't think that's it but you know we got her running right now got the gas cap take some uh i don't know gas gasoline okay. gasoline i think we'll cover up the license plate right there but as you can see grand Dam got the uh i don't uh got factory rims on it right there the paint's starting to come off just a little bit but that's okay guys she still runs at a solid 30 miles an hour but now we get into the money maker we got a 2.4 liter twin cam four cylinder engine we got the alternator right there making moves and we got a battery that's pretty important in a car it likes to shake a little bit but that does not stop its performance i'm gonna let adam hold the camera here and i'm gonna rev it up for you a little bit Listen at her purr. Take you back to the back end. Uh, we have a this scratch right here. My mom, uh, she had a stop sign, but I don't really, I don't know about that. Right down here, if you get down low, you look at these. You can see, I mean, obviously, but it's got twin turbos right there. They're both exactly the same. <laughs> But now that we've got the outside pretty much covered, let's get on inside of our first car. Now, we're going to turn off the key. We're going to start from beginning to finish. Here we go. Ready? Ready? There we go. Got all the lights on there. Not exactly sure if we should do anything about them. I mean, over here we got some blinking light. Service engine soon, the ABS, the traction trolls control, can all approximately 1138. Now we're going to talk about the key here. Um, uh, nothing special, but it is a key. So, it is an automatic, which means, you know, you put it in the little D slot and it starts moving. It's got a good horn. Good for waking up dogs and stuff. Over here, you used to be able to move the mirrors, but that little thing's gone, so we don't really talk about that anymore. One of Adam's most favorite parts is the air conditioner thing. It's got little spinny things, you can move them. Except the AC doesn't work too good, but at least it's got a fan in it. And there is no passing the aux, because there's no option for an aux cord. Yeah, we don't have an aux cord. We do have a radio, though. No copyright. And the best thing about old Grand Am, you can take this thing off road. She's a beaut. It's only two wheel drive, but that's honestly all you need. Let's head up this hill and see what we can do. And just like that, guys, you got a, you got a mule that can go a lot faster than the actual cow saw. Heading right down through the middle of this field right now. And if you guys have been with my channel for a really long time, you know that this is actually the Trapping Mobile 2.0. I've trapped coyotes in this thing. We've trapped turtles in this thing. Actually, one of my biggest videos ever, which has over 1.5 million views. We've trapped a fox in it. Here's a clip from that video. Okay, guys, I'm out here checking the traps in the Grand Dam. Look at our what one. Big red. And believe it or not, guys, that's actually the exact spot where I caught that fox. Sort of looks familiar to you. You know, I mean, 
few weeds in the road, but honestly, I don't think the Grand Dam cares that much. But uh, like I said, this is the first car in my car collection. But before we show you the rest of the cars, we're actually going to take you out to, uh, well, we're going to take it on the road and show you what we can do on there. A little bit about the acceleration and stuff. Okay, guys, so now we're out on the road right now. We're going to do a... Uh, what do you call it? Handling test. Handling test. Yeah, there we go. Basically, what we're going to do is drive down an ordinary Kentucky road because they go like this. We got the GoPro mounted up top. That way, you know, you'll get a view of like that. And also, I may turn it up like that. That way, you know, you can see how I whip the wheel back. You know, common stuff like that. And then after that, we may do a little bit of speed test or zero to 60 time, but I don't know. We may be pushing it. There. But as for right now, let's do some handling. Okay, here we go. Starting it out getting on the road we're in some gravels because you know gotta keep in mind we are in kentucky gravels live in kentucky i guess nothing too crazy nothing too crazy got 10 and 2 over here okay guys we're on the road now we're gonna do some handling pointing y'all down at the road now and here we go let's see what we can do we're not gonna get too crazy but we're just gonna drive and if you're wondering guys yes the windshield wipers do indeed work and we will use them so that it will wipe off the glare from the sun test of handling we're gonna drive over a bridge now i'll be honest i don't really know how this has anything to do with handling but we're gonna do it anyhow yeah here we go back to the pothole what's it gonna do oh handled it well looks like we passed the four-wheel drive test got my hashtag gray gang hashtag jesus bracelets on always rip this used to be a train track used to be a train track bridge but now it's just a bridge over a really muddy river that's got a lot of potholes in it yet the grand dam is handling them flawlessly amazing there's the river by the way it's pretty cool a little bit dirty so not gonna be hitting it anytime soon and just like that guys we have exited the bridge the grand dam made it a plus on handling a plus plus and our next test of the day is aerodynamics. Now, aerodynamics is the reason why we went from cars like this to cars like this. With better aerodynamics, you have less drag, which means, you know, less stuff try to hold you back. You get better gas mileage, faster speeds, and, uh, well, yeah, that's about it. But as you can see, the Grand Dam right here, it's pretty streamlined. Sort of. But we're gonna give it some tests right here to see just how aerodynamic is this car. Or, I, I mean, this sports car. Okay, boys, here we go. Test one. Yep, looks pretty streamlined to me. On to our next test. It passed. Okay guys, so right now we're about to do the, the speed test, or the quickness I guess. We're gonna see how fast we can go from zero to 60. Cause 60 is the speed. Ready, here we go. Okay, we're there. <laughs> That's about four, five seconds. Longer than that. What do you think about it? I don't know. I think the speed test was a little lower than normal. Um, so, uh, something's wrong with the engine, right? Yeah. It's on a, on a good day, I can probably get to 60 in about two seconds, two and a half seconds, but today we'll just call it an off day. And now, guys, we're going to do the braking test. Now, you know, some cars are really good at braking. However, we do not drive a car like that. We are driving a Grand Am. Don't expect too much, but I will say we will stop. Now, I came out here in the field, that way, you know, I don't have to burn any rubber or skirt some gravels around. But we are out in the field just in case something crazy happens. But the plan is to come right here, down this field, right down this road, hit the brakes, and then see how far I go without stopping. That is going to be the test. I'm going to get in the Grand Am, and we're about to fire this thing up. Well, she stopped. We may have skirted a little bit, but 
waist up. As you can see, the Grand Dam is no longer in motion. Okay, guys, I sort of forgot to tell you this at the beginning of the video, but that's the only car in my collection, and I guess it's sort of not a sports car, but as you saw, it handles like a train. But yeah, a lot of y'all already know about the Grand Dam. I mean, if you want to see more from the Grand Dam, maybe we'll actually get out there and do a speed test. We'll do a serious speed test. We'll get down. We'll get on it. We may hit some deep ruts with it, but if you're not already, join the Grey Gang. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button if you liked it, and comment what you thought was your favorite or the funniest part of the video. But go down, do that, and besides that, Grey Gang, click over here if you want to subscribe.